Welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to feature the real ACC GXT10 and its box barely fits on my desk. So because I bought the Orleans Ready to Fly version, this is everything I've got. First of all, we're getting the quadcopter. We're missing three things in order to fly it. One, a camera, video transmitter, and a receiver, and of course a remote controller. We got two sets of these propellers. These are Bullnose 50-45 propellers. One set of red propellers and one black. We got this uh, button plate that is for the battery. We can use it in order to connect the battery to the bottom of the quadcopter. And we got this nylon uh, nut locks that will secure the propellers to the motors. So let's have a look on the build. The build is very clean. Probably this is the cheapest way to get you into flying a semi-professional quadcopter because it's almost straight for you to, to fly it. And it's cheap, you pay less than 100 bucks for it. We have Racer Star BR2205 budget-friendly motors and also 20 ampere BLLES ESCs. Inside we have an SP3 F3 Racing flight controller and a PDB. Now this comes also with a NACE32 and CCD versions as well. I recommend if it's in stock to get the F3 version even though it costs a couple of bucks more. And we have here on the back all the wires that we need in order to uh, wire it to the VTX and also to the receiver. And we have here on the front this connector that we will use in order to power up the camera. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to connect this Foxeer FX1177 camera, this TX526 video transmitter, and this IRA8S a receiver that is going to be bind with the iRange X, IRX, i6X. By the way, everything you see here costs less than $200 and you don't need a lot of experience in order to assemble this quadcopter. As I told you, it came almost ready to fly. So in this video, I won't be able to show the entire process, but what I will show you is the final outcome and maybe I will take it also for a test flight if time will allow me to do so. I finished connecting everything up and I just want to show you what I did. So first of all I connected the camera and the VTX to that 12 volt port which is located here on the bottom. And I've connected the, I've connected the receiver into the PPM port. The PPM port of this board is located here and I got it powered from the UR3 plus and minus and I've already configured it on clean flight. You have to configure it only on PPM and you have to configure the output of the iRange uh, transmitter that it's gonna be on PPM, not on PWM, and it is ready to go. The next thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna say just arrange all the wires and connect the top plate of the quadcopter. I finished wiring everything up. The weight of the quadcopter without battery and without the propellers is 281 grams, so it's pretty light. I've also put the antenna connected to this zip tie. I've located here the transmitter on the back. It's not the best place, but it will be for now. And the next thing we need to do is just take it for test flight. You can see we have also here the LEDs on the bottom and we have the landing pads. So I think for about $200 you can get a VR007 goggles, the quadcopter with the camera and the VTX, and the iRange X remote controller. So I think for $200 this probably give you the best value for your money and it will be a nice quadcopter for you to learn the basics of FPV racing and it should perform pretty well as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you find it useful and see you on my next videos.